We're gonna get into the interview with Tommy Guarino. Let's do it. All right, so we got our second guest now on the People of Boston podcast, uh, who is Tommy. Now, tell me if I'm saying this right. Is it Gerino? No. Gerano? Give you a couple more guesses. Uh, Garino. 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 Tommy Garino. Garino. I've heard Guarino. I've heard Garano. I've heard it all. So, Did you ever know. get Tommy Guido as like an insult? No, not yet. <laughs> I'm surprised no one came up with that one yet. Now I'm going to get a bunch of fucking comments now saying, so Tommy Guido. I don't even think that's an insult. I love Jersey Shore, so. There you go. Oh, yeah. I'm a big Jersey Shore guy. If you embrace the Guido as an Italian, then you're good. Yeah, you got to you got to be all in or all out. You know, yeah. you can't be one foot in the pool, one foot out. So yeah, yeah, it's good to be here though. Yeah, no, beautiful East Boston, that tall ship. Again, I apologize for the parking situation. We know the fucking Boston parking sucks as it is, so yeah. hopefully I don't get a ticket, but I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having no, me. No, it's great, and thank you. Um, we're really, we've, we've been looking forward to this, and we've loved your videos. I, I mean, Appreciate before we it. even started the podcast. My girlfriend's a big fan as well, um, and we just think you're hilarious. That's why we thought, why not talk to you? Why not, right? You're big East Boston. You live in East Boston, right? I live in East Boston, so we are currently in Maverick, which is a section of East Boston. I live in Orient Heights. Don't want to give out my address, but yeah. somewhere in Orient Heights, I've been there forever. Like I, I told you off camera, my grandmother bought the triple decker I still live in back in the 80s. Uh, obviously worth a shit ton of money now. Oh yeah. Great location. It's right on the water actually, which is awesome. But yeah, man, it's been great. I'm 22, still do live at home, but nice. looking to move out soon because uh, I've been lucky enough to turn this into a full-time business. Yeah, so I'm crazy. making some good money now, which is great. No, that's awesome. That's awesome. Where would you move if you're, I mean, if you could have your choice? Let's say money's not even an option. If you yeah. could move anywhere in Boston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Boston, I mean, I like Seaport. Seaport's oh, nice. Beautiful. I like East Boston too, but there's really not too many nice parts of East Boston. I like where we're at right now. Yeah. My section, Orient Heights, is pretty nice, but I think Seaport's obviously up and coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the North End, the old rustic vibe, but I would have to say sea, Seaport or... Um, I like Back Bay too. Back Bay is beautiful. Back Bay is nice. But yeah. that's a really expensive too. Very I mean, expensive. If money's not an option, it's beautiful, but. <laughs> Gonna get a couple more sponsorships before that happens. <laughs> yeah. I do wanna travel a lot though, because people always ask me, like, oh, do you wanna stay in Boston? What do you wanna do? And I'm like, yeah. you know, right now my business is in Boston. You know, uh -huh. Everyone calls me, like, oh, quote unquote, the Boston guy. So yeah, yeah. Why would the Boston guy leave the city, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I love the city. You know, I'm a diehard sports fan here. I've been here my whole life, so there's no reason for me to get out of here. Definitely. So, I plan to stay here, definitely. Now, you've been here your whole life. Do you have a story growing up? Like I'm from Connecticut, mm -hmm. so I don't have. I can maybe think of a story that screams Connecticut, but nobody cares, mm -hmm. right? Boston's great. You've lived here your whole life. Do you have a story of like growing up that just like screams Boston? Like maybe going to a game as a kid or like saw something crazy? Yeah, I mean my, my house every day, daily is another <laughs> fucking story. I, I live in a I live in a big Italian Bostonian family in East yeah. Boston, so you know it's either my mother screaming at my father. I've gotten clickers thrown at my head before. <laughs> a clicker is a TV remote. If you don't know what that is. <laughs> to say that uh, we got little girls running across the screen right now yeah there's apparently a some kind yeah, of some child fashion show. thing today uh but anyway <laughs> not to go on topic. uh i mean this is like kind of i don't want to say doc humor but like because i'm just like desensitized because my family's fucking nuts so i see like yeah. so much shit yeah. but like i remember i was coming home from hockey practice uh <laughs> Play, I, I skated at the East Boston rink and you can pretty much throw a rock and hit my house from the rink That's how close it is nice and um, I was coming home for practice. I think I was like 16 I just got my license and so I'm driving home <laughs> and I'm pulling down my street. I see Cop cars, ambulances, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like the first thought in my head, I'm like, my, my grandmother's fucking sick or something. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. So I'm scared. I something park terrible. the car, I get in the house, and there's like fucking blood everywhere. I'm like, what Jesus. the fuck just happened? <laughs> and apparently, I, I I can't make this up. I'm I, I ran some because we my grandmother's on the first floor. Okay. Me and my parents are on the second floor, and then we have a family front of the third floor. Okay. So I ran to the second floor. All the cops are on the first floor. I'm like, ma, what the fuck happened? Like, is, <laughs> is someone dead? Yeah. Pretty yeah. Much. yeah. And she was so, like, she was like, oh yeah, you're fine. Father and your uncle just fought because uh, your uncle, your, your uncle took the last piece of. It was like a, it was like pasta, or like some type of food. I'm at it's not fucking rocket science. Just make sure the anti pasta the men are thoughts ready when I get home. It's not rocket science. So they got into a legit fist fight because my <laughs> uncle took the last food, but because he took the last piece of food, they argued about a situation that happened years ago, yeah. and it turned into like my uncle owed my father five hundred dollars from like four years ago, yeah. and my father just sucker punched them, and then it turned into like an assault and battery thing. But maybe don't maybe not put the whole thing in there. But yeah. No, I'm kidding. It's fine. It's it's all resolved now. But we all have that fucking crazy uncle. I know we kind of talked about it, but yeah. dude, my house is a fucking madhouse. 